The first thing we want to talk about is, okay, how to identify a matrix. Well, a matrix is usually indicated with a capital letter. So you can see I've written A, B, C, D. These are like four different types of, uh, four different matrices here. Okay, and you can tell it's a matrix because of this bracket. See the little, you know, square bracket there. And each one of these numbers here in the matrix is called an element. And you can identify the element by its position. For example, these are the rows that are going this way. Columns are like the columns of a building. And when you want to uh, name a matrix by you know, its dimensions, okay, what you want to do is you always want to do the rows first, okay, uh, rows by columns. You want the columns to be second. Okay, so rows by columns forever, okay? So the first row, second row, one, two, three columns. Okay, so this is a two by three, okay? Two rows, three columns. But if you wanted to identify, let's say, this element right here, you would say it's in the second row, third column. Okay, so you can see like two, three, okay? If you wanted this one right here, this is in the first row, first column, okay? So that's how you identify the elements. That's how you, you know, name the uh, matrix by its uh, number of rows and columns. Let's take a look at this one here. This one, matrix B, has one, two, three. Now notice there's not much of a row here, there's just one element, but the rows go this way, one, two, three, and one column. So this is gonna be a three by one. This one here, matrix C, one, two rows, one, two, three columns, so this is a two by three. And the last one here, this is actually called a square matrix because it looks square, right? And it's uh, two rows, two columns. So the same number of rows as columns, two by two. Now, if you wanna add or subtract matrices, they have to be the same dimensions. They have to be the same size. It's like if I pick up this matrix, place it on this matrix without rotating it, okay? Just translate it, okay? You can see that the elements are not gonna match up. So you can't add uh, matrices if they have different dimensions. It's like a dimensional mismatch. So out of these four examples, it looks like matrix A and matrix C have the same dimensions. So let's go ahead and add those two matrices together. So it's gonna be also a two rows, three columns. And what we're gonna do is just visualize picking up this matrix, placing it on this matrix. You're gonna add the corresponding elements. So three plus one gives us four, okay, one plus five gives us six, two plus three is five, zero plus negative two is negative two, negative four plus zero is negative four, and one plus four is five. So we added the two matrices together. Now if you wanted to subtract them, it's the same thing. You would just do three minus one, one minus five, two minus three, and so on. Okay, so you can add and subtract matrices as long as they're the same size. Now what about a scalar multiplication? So scalar multiplication is like multiplying everything in the matrix by a constant. So say for example, like uh, let's take this matrix B. Okay, so matrix B, let's write it out here. One, three, negative two. Say we wanna triple everything in that matrix. So by writing a three here in front of the matrix, okay, it's just like the distributive property. You're gonna multiply that three into the matrix, and what do you get? Three, nine, negative six. And that's it. So I hope this gave you a good introduction to, to matrices, rows by columns, adding and subtracting matrices. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the future videos. Take a look at the link uh, for the next uh, video in this series on matrices, and I'll see you in that next video. I'll talk to you soon.